So basically a little while ago with my Integra, um, my brother brought, brought home some, uh, some really strong cleaner from his work and little did I know he didn't dilute it. So it ate my bumper. It basically ate the paint. You can still see like the lines. This is standard with 600 on the DA. But I'm gonna prime the whole bumper um, just in case because it's like a single stage paint. And I'm gonna be painting it, you know, dual stage, you know, base and clear coat. So basically all, I, all I've done is, you know, hit it with some 600. Um, I uh, scotch brighted the areas that I can't really reach to. We got some spot putty on a couple of little nicks right here and right there. There's a couple of little gouges right there and right up top there's a deep scratch. Um, this shit, you you know, just basically what it is, spot putty. It's it's not made to uh, cover up anything serious, just for little shit. Um, so yeah, just, you know, I'm going to be painting these tomorrow. Tomorrow's Thanksgiving. Um, work's going to be, you know, just me. Nobody else is going to be there, so it's kind of it's kind of nice. I like working by myself. Uh, we got the front bumper right there. That's going to be after this one. Um, I'll probably set you guys up on like a time lapse for that one. Um, I still got to take the lip off, take the... Uh, um, markers out. Um, I may end up paint matching that lip. Um, I'm not too sure yet. But yeah, I'll update you guys when I uh, throw some primer on this bad bitch. Alright, so just got the first coat of primer on. It's actually been like 10 minutes. Um, I've been uh, taking a heat gun to it. It's like 30 degrees in here, 35. And I'm spraying waterborne primer, so you know, the, the weather really affects it. Um, there's no hardener in this. It's, it's like straight from the gallon. Um, so yeah, I'm going to keep doing the heat gun to it. Um, it'd be nice if I had like a heat lamp or something, but, uh, yeah, I'm just going to keep, uh, going with the heat, uh, heat gun for the next 20 minutes and then I'm going to let it sit for another 20 minutes and then I'll do a, uh, second coat. All right. Um, so continuing the video, uh, rear bumper is all primed up. I got two coats on it. Um, that's all I'm going to do. Um, so I started on the uh, front bumper. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of spot putty on it. Um, I didn't really realize how bad my front bumper was. So I should probably grab some like glaze or like some icing from work. But um, yeah, so I just kind of try to cover up all the rock chips. Um, the primer would do a good job covering it all, but I just want to be sure. So I'm just going to let this sit up, sand it, and then I'll get back to it. Alright, so I got <clears throat> I got all the uh, spot putty uh, sanded down. I got this center like piece uh, taped up. I got to do a couple spots still. Um, and then I'm going to film me uh, spraying it. I'm going to try and do it like holding the camera and, you know. So get that little tape spot fixed and then we're going to start priming. Alright, so I got the uh, primer gun. This is like really, really simple. Um, <laughs> uh, can't really run it. If you do run it, it's not really a big deal. So just... It's kind of hard because I'm trying to get it in the shot. So yeah, I'm just gonna finish priming this and then I'm gonna take the heat gun to it. Did my first coat, um, let it sit for about 30 minutes. Uh, and then I took the heat gun to it because it is cold as, cold as tits. Um, so I got the primer done. And we're gonna do a second coat. Um, I'm not gonna go super heavy, not gonna go super light. So basically I'm just gonna go for it. Over here a little bit. Trying to get you guys in the camera. No, oh, sorry. <laughs> Here. 
compressor is probably going to turn on shortly. Yep, there it goes. So I'm going to finish priming this and then I'll conclude this half of the video. Alright, what's going on guys? So it's uh, 7 a.m. 7.03. Uh, currently on my way to work. It's cold as shit outside. I somehow got the, uh, the bumpers in the bed. Uh, I had to take out my toolbox. But uh, yeah, so it's gonna be a bitch bringing them back home when they're in, uh, you know, in fresh paint. So you guys can kind of see, get it all set up in there. But uh, yeah, we'll uh, resume when we get back to the, uh, or when we get to the shop. All right, what's going on guys? Uh, just finished basing everything. That's got four coats, that's got four coats, that's got four coats, this has three. Uh, I sealed it, then fucking painted it, or based it. I ended up hanging it like that. Um, clearing this thing's gonna be a bitch, but you know, whatever. If I have to buff it, I'll buff it. Uh, so that's basically my setup right now. I'm gonna go clean out the guns, and then uh, mix up some clear, and then start clearing. This time I could actually talk. Um, it came out all right. This one I, I drooped it right there. Lighting's kind of shitty in here. This this thing's a pain in the ass to paint because it's fucking swinging. But I mean, I don't think I got any droops on the bottom. Yeah, the bottom looks all right. I'm not even gonna worry about that. Um, yeah, this thing keeps dropping dust. Fucking the filter. So this thing is really really dirty. But at least it's on the bottom. So. I'm probably not even gonna buff it, maybe a little bit. Uh, coming in over here, it's gonna be loud, the, the heat's on. I don't really have a, a flash on me, a camera, but, yeah, I don't have a camera on me, but these came out pretty clean, pretty good. Um, definitely happy with how they came out. You know, I'm not even gonna bother, probably not gonna bother even uh, sanding and buffing them. Um, the car's not perfect, so you know the bumpers don't have to be perfect as well. So yeah, that's that's basically it. Uh, I wish I could have got a video on um, me actually painting them, but that you know I don't have a tripod. I don't have any of that stuff. Uh, you know, another person would have been nice, but I got up at six this morning to go do this shit. So uh, yeah. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. Um, I'll probably have a video up of me putting this thing all back together. Uh, maybe tomorrow, uh, depending on how hungover I am. Um, so yeah, this thing, last time it, um, it peeled on me, it bubbled and all sorts of shit. So, you know, I, I battled this thing for a little bit. And this this time, it, you know, it didn't, didn't peel on me, so that's nice. That's, you know, thank fucking God, actually. Um, so yeah, basically what the Integra is going to be is I'm going to put it back together. I'm going to really clean it, you know, buff it real nice and sell it. Unfortunately, but fortunately. Um, the guy with the BMW has not got back to me yet, but he will. Um, and maybe this week, uh, today is like the 24th, I believe. Uh, maybe this week, end of this week, this weekend I can go pick up that BMW hopefully. So, uh, yeah, um, hope you guys enjoy the video. Uh, I'm gonna, you know, keep, uh, keep trying to make videos. Um, so, yeah, that's it. Give it a like, you know, comment, subscribe. It's gonna be plenty of more shit. Um, hopefully, drift car in the future. Take it easy.